everybody. We're back. Hello. Hopefully we're feeling refreshed and we're going to try and change topics. And today on a positive note, (laughs) uh, the mods were ever so grateful as to create a lovely file for me to judge of pet finder names. So that is what we are going to be going over today. Now (laughs) we're going to be going over names that have been found on pet finder and, uh, and we're going to be rating them. Do we like this name? or not. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll start off. Oh, okay. So it's going to be nice and small like this, I guess. That's fine. There we go. So we're starting out with uh, Bad Tom Smith, who is a German Shepherd puppy. I'm going to give this one, this is a pretty solid. I think this is pretty solid. He, uh, he, I don't think he did anything wrong. I don't know why he's bad, uh, but he looks pretty good to me. He's looking adorable. All right, we've got Baja Blast. Absolute classic. Baja Blast has been adopted. <laughs> Okay, Baja Blast has been adopted, guys, from Prince Frederick, Maryland. A kitten, a female kitten, and is a tabby, as you can tell. Absolutely adorable, perfect name. I give this easily 11 out of 10. I I hope whoever adopted Baja Blast did not change the name. That is my one hope, that no names were changed. That's the biggest hope right now. Otherwise, I'm gonna be quite upset. All right, next up, we got Beetlejuice. No, Beetlejuice. Oh no. (laughs) Okay. Beetlejuice is a senior pug and chihuahua mix. Okay. So this reminds me, this is a thing I want to do. So Beetlejuice is literally the perfect example here. Um, I've been thinking recently about potentially going to like adoption facilities, centers, wherever, and adopting senior dogs to help them live out like the rest of their lives. I understand that a lot of older dogs that are getting put into shelters essentially get like abandoned or left by their parents because they just don't want to deal with an older dog. I really want to help them. I think it's so unfair that they would have to live the rest of their life in a shelter just because someone only cared about the dog's life from ages like one to eight or whatever, you know? Next up, (laughs) next up we have big boy beef. What a name. The glare is kind of getting me a little bit. Like I kind of like the glare, you know, but I also kind of don't like the glare. I don't know. I'm pretty neutral on the, on this one. I, I don't hate him. I like that the hair shape is kind of pyramid pointy at the top. I'm still going to give him a 10 out of 10 though. Next up, Beesky is a senior Jack Russell Terrier. You see this shit, the senior dog shit? I, I love the name, Biscuit, fantastic, very fitting. At least an 11 out of 10 for sure. Maybe even a 15 out of 10. We got Bonk. <laughs> Bonk has been adopted. It's got a very bonkable head, not gonna lie. Give me, give me a little bonk. How cute. Tabby and domestic short hair mix. Adorable, easy, 15, 20 out of 10. Name is at least another five points. I'd say 25 out of 10 for sure, for sure. All right, Boo Boo, the adult guinea pig. I don't know much about guinea pigs. Is this a fitting name? Is this a fitting name for a guinea pig? Boo Boo, the guinea pig? I don't know. I don't know. Looks so cute. Yeah, uh, very cute. I, I would name this guinea pig bonk as well, or maybe boop, maybe boop. Cause I really want to boop that snoot. It's it's a perfect picture for snoot booping. All right, next up we got Bullwinkle. Aw, an adult mixed breed. Bullwinkle looks so sad. Bullwinkle looks like, you're like, man, am I taking an adoption photo again? That's so sad. Why am I making this a sad thing? I'm sorry. Bullwinkle's adorable. Yeah, you cutie, at least a 20 out of 10. Easy, easy. All right, we got Caboodle. Oh my God. Caboodle has seen some shit. Look at this. This is the face of a hardened criminal. (laughs) I'd say at least a 15 out of 10. Chainsaw repair? This cat looks like he he hates his name. I assume he, I don't know. She, they. It looks like they hate their name. They're like, this is not it, fam. Ooh, Cluck Norris. Ooh, I... Mm, I'm vibing with this one. I like this name a lot. What do you guys think? When he does a push up, he doesn't lift himself. He pushes the world down. I'm loving it. Perfect name, 100 out of 10. Easy. All right, and oh, constructive criticism. <laughs> so rotund. My goodness. I-, I need to up my like naming game for pets. Like I didn't know you could name a pet constructive criticism. This is great. What a unit. Absolutely. Oh my goodness. The one and only Crunchwrap Supreme from Chesapeake, Virginia. What a little cutie pie. Oh, the one and only. I hope the one and only Crunchwrap Supreme has been adopted. Very worthy of a home. Look at those eyes. They're just begging to be adopted. It's perfection. Drulius Caesar. 
a Labrador Retriever mix from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Oh, oh, Drulius, my dear boy. This, this boy, look at him. He looks so shy. Oh, that name is easily 50 out of 10. I have never heard such a name before, Drulius Caesar. But he's a big drooly boy. I'll give you like virtual head pats, maybe like pat, pat, pat. There we go. Did I do it? Okay. I give virtual pets for all of us. Oh, we've got the fancy bartender. A chihuahua mix from Armada. Is that Michigan? Is MI Michigan? I don't know. Fancy bartender. He does look quite fancy. I'm not even going to lie. If this pup served me drinks, I would expect the drink to be at least a $15 mixed drink of some variety. He's judging your martini. This dog could make a good martini. I absolutely believe that. This dog could make an excellent martini. All right, I got Frank Sinatra, classic. I've actually, is this cat missing an ear? Oh, baby. Either way, Frank Sinatra is looking quite dapper. I'll, I'll leave it at that. That's pretty easy, straightforward, very nice. All right, we got Mack truck. Oh, look at the little Mack truck. He goes beep, beep. He goes beep, beep, everywhere he goes. What a cutie pie. So I guess he's being fostered probably uh, in West Cadwell, New Jersey, English Bulldog. Very cute. This is um probably one of the more fitting names I've seen. Like th this is just, you know, is this a description or the name? It could be both. Very fitting, 20 out of 10. All right, we got me and my gang. <laughs> duck, gender, duck from East Heartland, Connecticut. Very cool. I mean, I'm afraid they might bite me, but I still really like ducks. So I'm gonna say 20 out of 10. All right. Mr. Worldwide. Who did this? Who did this to a pigeon? It's like vu, baby. Got a pigeon and said, Mr. Worldwide. Who did that? Who did that? Oh my God. Like, how do you even adopt a pigeon? Like, I didn't even know you could keep a pigeon as a pet. How does one do that? Mr. Worldwide, 100 out of 10. There's, what can I say? I'm a big pit, pit bull fan. Mr. Worldwide, 305. Oh, we got Piggy Smalls. Who's doing this? <laughs> Piggy Smalls, all right. Adult pot-bellied pig. That's a 20 out of 10. Again, I will not elaborate further. Oh, I got, oh my. Oh my. How did I know we were gonna get graced with such beauty and splendor today? We have Thick and Nugget, the senior chihuahua. Good with kids and good with dogs. This is proof that I don't watch TV <laughs> or movies. So this is uh, Thick and Nugget, probably one of the most fitting names I've seen today. A uh, fucking 100 out of 10. All right, we got, oh my, War Machine. War Machine. Those eyes have absolutely seen some shit then. This cat has seen some shit and does not want to let us know. That's why it's eyes. His eyes are so damn big. So damn big. Look at this. You can't tell me what this cat hasn't seen. It's being held by gloves. Okay, a person wearing gloves. This cat has seen hell and came back to still say, but I want pets. So whoever adopts War Machine is brave. Is that it? That is it. That was our last cat to judge. So 